Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Brittany Christina of the Brittany Christina Collection and this channel focuses on luxury, fashion, and entrepreneurship. So if you are interested in any of those things, be sure to hit that subscribe button, okay? Give me a thumbs up on this video and leave me a comment. I would love to stay connected with you. But in today's video, we are going to be kicking off Black History Month by talking about 10 black owned beauty brands that you need to know, okay? I love doing these type of videos. I love really promoting black owned brands because there's so many. There's so many to choose from, so many to shop from, and I feel like a lot of people just don't know or just not aware of that these brands even exist, okay? If you missed my previous video last year on this, I went over 10 black owned luxury fashion brands that you needed to know. This video will be focused specifically on beauty brands, okay? So without further ado, let's get into this video. The first brand we're gonna talk about is Sunday to Sunday. I actually featured this brand in a previous video when I was refreshing my box braid, so I'll link that in case you wanna take a look. But what I love about Sunday to Sunday is that they are a black owned hair care brand for active women, okay? Specifically active women with natural hair and protective styles. So, you know, a lot of hair care companies you know they're kind of saturated with shampoos conditioners like pretty much all of the basic core products what i love about this brand is that they have a selection of products that help to carry you on a daily basis throughout the week okay as black women typically we have our wash days on sundays okay i know i'm not the only one who does sunday wash days and you know when you do a wash day especially if you have natural hair okay it's an all day affair you can't do nothing else okay but for those who are active i know for me i actually go to the gym three times a week and i feel like in between me going to the like i just it's physically impossible i am not going to wash my hair every single time i come home from the gym okay so they have core products that help you kind of refresh your hair make it feel good relieve any type of irritation or itching um just to help you get through the next day I actually have tried their moisture balance kit which consists of all four of their core products. There's this really nice micellar rinse which is also called the root refresh which serves as a cleanse and features apple cider vinegar. It's immediate relief. I absolutely love it. The daily moisturizing spray is also really great to revive your curls. Love the Soothe Me Daily Scalp Serum. I mean this is actually all gone. I need to get a refill um, I use it daily on my scalp and it just feels so good I definitely suffer from dry scalp and then the edge flourish and the edge refresh looks works really well on my edges especially since I have protective styles the next hair care brand that I would like to share with you all is melanin hair care okay this company was founded by two sisters one of which is well known so whitney white and sister taffeta white okay whitney white also goes by natural 85 so if you all have been in the youtube world okay she is one of my favorite youtubers um and i just have really enjoyed following her natural hair journey so of course when she came out with a line of products, it definitely intrigued me because one of my goals for this year is to really be better at catering to my natural hair, really learning, taking the time and learning the different styles that work for my hair, but also the products, the proper products that I need um, to make these styles come to life because listen, it's a process, okay? It's definitely a process. So I have not tried these products just yet, but I know that they have so many things to choose from, to do twist outs, um, to just really style your hair however you want it to. And being that Whitney has such beautiful hair and I, again, have been following her natural journey, 
I am very interested in trying these products to see if they really work in terms of specifically for styling my natural hair. So definitely check them out. They are an affordable luxury hair care brand. Um, I believe they're sold in Ulta Beauty and also Sephora. Um, I'm gonna check to see if there's any other retailers, but yeah, Melanin Hair Care, go check them out. The next brand I wanna talk about is a men's grooming brand, okay? So ladies, I know it's majority women who probably watched my videos on my channel. What I realized just working in the beauty industry and just, I don't know, just like going through life, I feel like men don't really explore products as often as women do. And a lot of times they stick with their old faithful, same old, same old, you know, and they don't realize there's actually so many products out here that they can try that might actually help and elevate their experience. So they might be relying more on the women to help introduce some of these products, okay? So I threw a men's brand in here. This is a black owned men's grooming company so that you all can share it with your man, share it with your brother, share it with your dad, whoever, share it with the men in your life. Um, and just let's help elevate their beauty grooming experience as well, okay? So the brand that I'm about to get into is Bevel. Bevel has really been on the come up. I, they're actually the brand to watch um, in terms of men's grooming, okay? I have had my eye on Bevel for some time now. Before I even hop into their products, I love everything about their brand, just from a digital perspective. Y'all know I work in the digital industry, e-commerce, digital marketing. So I, when I see a good digital presence, like I have to pause. I love their website. I love their Instagram. I love their marketing campaigns. I mean, they are just really doing it and they're doing it well, okay? But besides, we're gonna put the digital presence to the side. Bubble is really a premium uh, grooming company. They have all types of products for uh, skincare to hair care, um, to even some body products as well, okay? Um, the, I have not, for obvious reasons, tried their products, but I have definitely recommended them to some of the men in my life and they have gotten raving reviews, okay? So if, you know someone who is looking to elevate their grooming just experience, make sure you introduce them to Bevel. Another men's grooming company is Mantle, okay? Mantle was co-founded by Karamo, who is one of the hosts on the hit Netflix series, Queer Eye, okay? The brand caters to bald men and provides a variety of products for the face and scalp, okay? And what I love about this brand is that it's really meant to empower men who may be losing their hair or they're already bald, okay? It's just a way to give them confidence to really own their look, all right? At the end of the day, bald men need love too, okay? And there are some really good looking bald men out there, okay? So if you know someone who might be interested in this product, make sure you go check them out, support this brand. Beneath Your Mask is another luxury skincare brand that was founded by Dana, okay? Who has such an inspiring story um, with her battle with lupus, okay? The brand was actually created as a way to help her recover um, from her fight with lupus, really in order to make her feel like herself, feel, you know, and really love the skin that she's in. The brand is actually perfect for anyone who may be struggling with some health issues that might affect your skin type or your body type. A lot of the products are made um, with healing and restorative properties to help rejuvenate the skin and get you back to, you know, feeling like yourself again. 
Um, and one thing I love about these products is definitely the aesthetic of it. They're, they're beautiful. It's a simple packaging, black with, you know, a little bit of white in there. Y'all know I'm sucker for black and white. Um, and it just really has a nice aesthetic and perfect for anyone who's looking to splurge um, in the luxury skincare. So definitely make sure you check out Dana, really check out her story. Again, you will be inspired. Ugh, I just love seeing black women win. So the next brand I wanna talk about is 54 Thrones, okay? I'm actually pretty excited to talk about this brand. I was recently introduced um, to this brand in particular and I had to look them up and include them on this list, okay? So 54 Thrones was founded by Christina Tigby. Hopefully I'm saying that right. The name behind 54 Thrones represents the 54 countries of Africa and all of her products the ingredients within her products are sourced from those countries, okay? Like literally the ingredients come straight out of Africa. So I am super excited. I, one, I love her website. The, and she is such a pretty girl. She, I'm gonna put a picture of what she looks like. She is really pretty. She was featured on Shark Tank um, recently. I think that's how I was made aware of the brand through the show. Um, but I am so eager to get my hands on some of these products because I just feel like everything must feel like butter. Everything must smell like butter. Like, I mean, the ingredients themselves are coming from Africa. Like, I just feel like these are top notch quality ingredients and I want to try them. I want to try everything. Okay. They do have face products and body products. I am really looking forward to getting my hands on the body oil um, and any of the body butters and lotions, y'all. I suffer from dry skin. I'm dry like year round, especially during the winter time, okay? My hands soak up moisture so quickly, it is ridiculous, okay? So I am so eager to try this brand, um, love the aesthetics love what they stand for, um, love that, you know, it's just a brand that really is celebrating African heritage, African culture, um, and the beauty rituals and traditions in Africa. So if you have never heard of this brand, I recommend you go check them out, check out Christina's story and support. This next brand, there's nothing small about this next brand, okay? But I could not have this list of black owned beauty brands and not mention my girl, Rihanna, okay? The whole Fenty line, I'm actually gonna combine Fenty Skin and Fenty Beauty. Listen, I mean, what can I say? I'm a stan, okay? The Fenty Skin line is so good, I had was fortunate enough to try a couple of the products. I am obsessed with the body butter. That is hands down one of my favorite products right now. If you had not tried the body butter, make sure you do so. It is so moisturizing. And my favorite thing right now when I have my self-care Sundays and I take me a nice bath, light my candles, okay? And it's all said and done. I put on that body butter on my skin. Ugh. Like there's nothing like going to bed feeling like butter, feeling so smooth. And I mean, the most incredible sleep you had in your life, okay? Make sure you try that body butter. But Fenty Beauty on the makeup side, she has a lot of new products coming out, okay? They just launched the Match Stick and Eliminate Edition packaging for the Lunar New Year, which I love, okay? But what I'm most excited about is this refillable Fenty Icon lipstick that's coming out, okay? I have signed up my email. I cannot wait till it drops because I need some more lipstick. I love and I'm, I'm obsessed with this packaging. Um, it's just a vibe. I mean, I'm obsessed with everything Rihanna does, okay? She is that girl. She is that girl. Um, I know news just dropped that she's pregnant. Y'all know 
she gonna be coming out with something maternity, whether it's with the Savage Fenty line or whether it's like, you know, I would love to see skincare for specific for maternity women. Like I know she's gonna be coming out with more heat, okay? Like it's just it's just more money that's that has to be made. So I'm I'm here for her and everything that she touches. So I could not I could not continue with this list without mentioning my girl Riri. Okay, so hot off the press, okay? Everyone's favorite little sister, Marseille Martin, just announced the launch of her press on nail line, luxury press on nail line, I should say, Mari by Marseille, okay? I just checked out her website. Love everything about this brand, okay? She is creating reusable, press on nails that you can apply either by stickers or by glue and continue to reuse them and have them last. The nail designs look so good, okay? It's definitely up my alley. They are very minimalistic, but also like luxury, you know what I mean? Like the color palette is very neutral. I mean, I can see me rocking every single one of those nails, okay? I just love that Marseille is really out here doing her thing. She is a mini mogul in her own right. I just wish nothing but the best for her, okay? So I'm definitely gonna be hitting her up. Well, I'm not gonna be hitting her up. I'm gonna be hitting up her site because I don't know her, but I will be grabbing me some of her nails. I mean, I can't wait to try them. They look so good. So yeah, if you are interested in that minimalistic luxury type vibe, and if you are a boss in your own right, you may wanna check out these nails cause you know Marseille is coming with the heat. Paranova is a luxury vegan nail polish brand that was founded by Rachel James, who actually created the idea as a fashion merchandising student at her university, okay? She first presented the idea to a professor who later encouraged her to work at a brand like OPI, and instead, she went out and launched Pear Nova. So listen, the girl's bomb, I absolutely relate to her story because I started my journey in college as well for my fashion brand. Um, her brand sells, again, luxury nail polish. She has classic nail polish. She has gel nail polish. And she also has um, a line of products for nail care as well. She has been featured in a lot of different publications. Um, and I really love the aesthetic of her brand. I love some of her color. So I cannot wait to get my hands on some of this polish as well. So make sure if you are looking for a luxury nail polish brand to replace your current stash or inventory, check out Pure Nova. So last but not least, we have Forever Mood, which is a luxury lifestyle candle brand, okay? Created by founder, entrepreneur, social influencer, YouTuber, Jackie Ina. So I love this brand. I mean, it's a vibe all the way, okay? What I love is that it really just celebrates black women. I mean, point blank period, right? Um, I love that it really emphasizes, you know, black women luxury and also just self care. I love that her candles are such an aesthetic, okay? She has these mood collections and so every candle represents a different mood. Um, they aesthetically, they look really nice. They're great if you wanna style them in your home. Um, and they have such cute sayings on them. Um, like grown folks business and we ain't Lincoln and all these different like cute sayings of the culture. So I am obsessed with this brand. I actually did finally order a few candles that are on the way to me right now. Um, so I might do an unboxing in a future video, but really here for the whole vibe of luxury candles. So if you're looking to support a black owned candle business, definitely check out Forever Mood. 
so that's it thank you all for rocking with me for yet another week okay if you like this video leave me a comment let me know are you familiar with any of these brands have you tried any products from them what product is your favorite let me know because i'm also going to be doing some shopping okay especially for valentine's day self-love okay so let me know what's your favorite what i should what product i should look into to pick up for myself um and be sure to subscribe okay stay tuned because this series is not over we have more videos on the way it's gonna get lit okay so thanks again for hanging with me this week and i will see you all in my next video Thank you.